Hi, welcome to Informatica Global Support video. This is Batmanaban. Today we are going to talk about how to drop schema or ORS from MDMDB to database. Basically, dropping the schema from MDMDB to database involves with two-step process. First one is clean db2 schema program.sql and the second one is clean db2 schema.sql. Basically, dropping a user from Oracle database does not require any prerequisite. We can simply drop the user by using the command drop user username cascade. But in DB2, before dropping the schema, the prerequisite is you have to drop all the database objects. Then only you should be able to drop the schema from the DB2. Now I'm going to show you a quick demo how to drop the ORS. So for my video I'm I'm taking this uh, test ORS so first step is I have to unregister this ORS and I have to go to the db2 directory this is the db2 directory where you have installed mdmdb2 and there you will be seeing two files the one is clean db2 schema.program.sql and the second one is clean db2 schema.sql i'll just show you what i'm going to what the script is actually going to do this script will clean the um, triggers, modules, packages and jar files and the other one it will try to remove the triggers, modules, procedures, views, functions, sequences, packages and then finally tables so I'm going to connect to database Let me try to reset the connection. Now I am going to set schema for that ORS. That is just ORS. I am going to set path just ORS comma current path basically it will set the path these two SQLs is written in Oracle so in order to execute the Oracle code in DB2 I'm going to set SQL compact server output on I'm going to run the first one that is clean db2 schema program dot SQL I have see created one sample BO and sample landing table so that uh, it will try to drop those BO and the landing tables which is inside the schema. Yeah, the script got executed. Now I'm going to run the second one where it will drop all the procedures, packages, tables, etc. Since I have created only 
few database objects it will be very fast maybe in your environment it will take some more time depends on the number of objects you have in your environment okay now all the database objects inside the db2 has been dropped so i'm going to disconnect the database now I'm going to connect to the database again. I'm going to drop the schema, the entire schema. Hopefully, it should throw some error. Yeah. So it means that that all the packages has been dropped, but still there are some packages which is in the cache. So I'm going. I'm going to flush it. The command is db2 flush package cache dynamic. Now I should be able to drop. Okay. Now the entire schema that is uh, test ORS has been dropped. Okay. This is about the video. Now let's go to the slide and for more information you can refer the KB article 135932 and we like to hear your feedback from support video at informatica.com and twitter.com slash info support thank you for watching this video have a good day